Welcome to our podcast. Today, we're diving into some fascinating developments in the world of logic analyzers, focusing particularly on the improvements seen in the recent releases. Let's unpack all this new information step by step. Hey everyone, I'm your host, and today we've got a lot to cover about the latest changes in the Logic Analyzer project, especially concerning a new version that seems to be shaking up the landscape for electronic enthusiasts and developers alike. So let's kick things off with the basics. For those new to the concept, a logic analyzer is a crucial tool for anyone working in electronics. It allows you to capture and analyze digital signals in real time. Now this particular analyzer, based on the Raspberry Pico, has made some noteworthy advancements that we can't wait to discuss. Segment one, key updates and features. First off, we have the latest release, version 5.1 which is focused on quality of life improvements and some significant functional corrections. One exciting feature is the introduction of burst mode. This allows the analyzer to capture blocks of data more efficiently, improving memory usage by discarding unneeded samples. Imagine you're a detective and you only want to keep essential clues instead of a mountain of irrelevant information. What's notable is that only the simple trigger mode currently supports burst mode. However, there's a promise that this will extend to other triggers in the future. It's like they're ensuring that the simplest tools are the first to shine before rolling out enhancements to the more advanced ones. Host thought-provoking question. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by data and just wanted the essential pieces to make your decisions? This sort of feature could fundamentally change how we interact with collected data. Segment two, overcoming challenges. Now let's talk about the new challenges that come with progress. The release also highlighted some hiccups with the new Pico 2. Initial tests discovered a significant bug in its GPIO hardware. Specifically, it would lock pins upon receiving a high-level signal. A developer's journey can often be like navigating a maze. Just when you think you've found the exit, another wall pops up. However, adaptability is key in this process and the lead developer has put a pause on the porting process to the Pico 2 until the issues are fixed. That's a solid decision from a project management perspective. Segment three, anticipated enhancements. What's really exciting, however, is what's coming next. The new Pico 2 isn't just about solving problems. It also promises to bring significant improvements. For example, the analyzer can now capture at speeds up to 400 megahertz and handle three times more samples than before. Imagine slingshotting into new territories with your data insights. The beauty of having a higher sampling speed and more samples means you'll get a much richer data set to analyze, especially beneficial for projects that require high precision or fast performance, such as robotics or communication systems. Host humor moment. Picture this, a high-speed chase but instead of cars, it's your data flying by at breakneck speed. You definitely don't want to miss that. Segment four, involving the community. And speaking of new features, there's a call for help from the developer as they work on an exciting project, hinting at some special surprises for the community. This collaboration is essential in open source projects where user feedback can often guide the next big feature or two. It's like cooking. Sometimes that pinch of salt a friend suggests can elevate the dish from good to gourmet. Host thought-provoking question. How do you think community feedback can shape the future iterations of projects like these? Do you have experiences to share on being paid? 